Hey guys, I'm going to show you the brewing process today. Um, so I'll go ahead and create a batch. We'll call it number 51 and it can be a hazy. So we'll create the batch. You see we've got a new batch there. I'll select it for brewing and you see the status changes to ready to brew. So if we go over to our brewery page. Uh, you see the whole brewery is in a ready state. The mash tun is the first step. So we'll say fill the mash tun. You can see the batch 51 has been attached to the mash tun. So we'll fill it. First thing, it'll preheat the, the tank. You can see the simulation tank temperature going up quite quickly. <laughs> now it's filling and mashing. I've set it to 20 seconds, so that'll go quite quickly. On the batch page, you, you see the status change as it goes through. It's currently mashing at the moment. Um, once that 20 seconds is up, it should change to complete. There we go. So now it's complete. So we'll go back, uh, we'll go into the mash tun again, and we'll send it to the lauder tun, which is the next stage in the process. Preheats the lauder tun before transferring it to the lauder tun. And the batch page, it's now showing laudering. First of all, it'll recirculate while the kettle preheats. We then can select laudering from here, which will send it to the kettle. The kettle's receiving, it happens quite fast. Then it'll heat up until it gets to boiling. Again, 20 seconds. On the batch page, it's showing that it's currently boiling. On the lauder tun, we need to confirm that the grain's been removed and then it'll rinse it with hot water. Once the kettle's finished its boil, it'll transfer to the whirlpool. And the whirlpool page, it shows it filling. And it's complete. So it happens very fast in the simulation a lot slower in real life, at which point uh, they'll connect a fermenter to the outlet and we'll select a fermenter for it from this point. And it will be sent through the heat exchanger to the fermenter. And that's the basics of this brewing process.